Project X. Just so you know, I might cry a little. I'm going to telepathically rape you. I am telepathically raping you for the rest of the night. <laughs> Look what I did. <laughs> <laughs> that retard plays a really convincing normal guy. <laughs> I have not once, ever, ever caught myself on fire. Diane Weiss. Yep. MorningShowCentral.com. It's the Project X Show. <laughs> what I miss? No, I was just thinking we should make Diane Weist our new tagline. For the show. Diane <laughs> Weist. <laughs> I was telling Johnny Five when I listened to that intro uh, earlier tonight that the very next day she was the answer to one of the clues in one of my crossword puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> I am honored. To my left is Pat. Across from me, Johnny Five and Girl. In the production studio, Chris by his lonesome. That was actually intentional, by the way. Um, now I'm going to make you listen closely to everything I say during every show for the chance that it'll review itself. Because <laughs> you're going to be sitting there at the crossword puzzle going, what did Pat say last night? <laughs> Who did he bring up? <laughs> that has to be the answer. Um, tonight is a pretty action-packed show. We have a lot of breaking news to talk about. Also, it's Rooster's last show-ish for six weeks. And he's running late. And then four weeks. <laughs> and then four weeks after that. And then for another two in December <laughs> of 2012. Um, but that hasn't been worked out in his contract. Wow, yet. he knows that far in advance? Yeah. Wow. Also, it's girls' last show. Yeah, some people actually show. let us know in advance. <laughs> It's, well, I, I found out uh, tonight <laughs> that it's girls' last show for a week. Yeah. True. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm only going to, I'm only able to do every other this month. I was month. like, so she's here for a week. Though. Yeah. But like every other this month, we've already had a Tuesday this month. Yeah. When and you missed. And you missed. Yeah. So then you're here this week. So you're only going to miss next Tuesday, right? So, um, and then there's the next Tuesday. 15, I'll come. 22. You'll not be here 15. You'll be here 22. And you won't be here 29. 29. And that's the big one too. That's the oh. big anniversary show. Yeah. Oh. What? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, none of us started in November. I love that. <laughs> if you're not right there, get to the website, project next show.com project spot with a K. Not with a C backwards. If you can, because we're awesome. Retarded. Apparently rooster had requested that Chris set up the other camera in the production studio so he can also be seen. There it is. It's being shown right now. I saw it set I up I saw there. that in there, yeah. I saw it set up, and I thought to myself, Chris is the only person in here. Yeah. No. Um, Rooster wants it. What is going on over there right now? Does he want it on because he has something special for us tonight? Because I don't know. his last show? I was wondering. Or? I was like, it's your last show for a month and a half. You've been doing this for a while now. He finally just realized there was no camera. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and he wants it now, but it's his last show for a month and a half. I'm hoping. Against hope that one of my predictions came true, and the reason he wants the camera is he's breaking out skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he can because that's why he's leaving. He has to be professional and go train. He can't uh, be eighty either. Yeah. Yeah. However, they, I mean, it's right after Halloween. You can still find the temporary hairspray. This is true. That may work. Does he have enough hair to pull it off yet? Yeah. I'm not really sure. Sure. Uh, also, if you want to call the show, 888-668-0742, toll-free worldwide. The first thing, the first bit of breaking news, which I wasn't even going to talk about tonight. <laughs> I saw it on, on uh, the news briefly before I came in this week. And then again on uh, some website while I was doing show prep tonight was uh, today uh, is voting day for everybody. And uh, it's, it's this big deal, especially in Ohio right now, because they have uh, that issue two being voted on for State Bill 5 that I'm not even going to get into because we talked about a little bit earlier. And that, that, that's the biggest issue on this ballot. And everybody is so hardcore for it and so hardcore against it. And I'm just kind of like, eh, like I'm in the middle. Because it doesn't really affect me directly so much. But also, both po both sides have very good points. But I'm not even going to talk about that because it's stupid. Because we're just going to spend the whole show debating on something stupid. However, there was one good thing that came out of voting. For us. For us. <laughs> 
sucks for him. Yeah. It's and great for us. I just saw, I heard it briefly on the news, and then when I was doing the show prep, I saw it online, and the headline was just, um, uh, Ohio voter bit on the nose at poll. I'm like, what? <laughs> what the hell could have happened? <clears throat> so I'm like, eh, whatever, maybe for an idiot nominee or something, but I don't think that that story has any legs. Next, and I go see something about Kim Kardashian that girl had sent me. Um, so we're standing outside talking, and Pat comes up to us as we're all congregated outside talking about random things, and he says, so something funny happened to my cousin today. I'm not thinking about it. I don't know if girl actually thought it, but jokingly said, out of all the things that could have happened to his cousin, was he the guy that got bit on the nose? Yeah, I was joking. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> she, she actually got something right. <laughs> right? That's the funny part. Of course, there was no recording of it to prove. <laughs> That's the funniest part. Maybe she, she was trying to make a joke and got something right. Maybe she's the new prediction person. <laughs> I think maybe she should try to start making jokes more often when she's trying to be serious, and then maybe we can get some actual decent content out of her. I'd be okay with that. So uh, Pat replied, actually, yes. <laughs> it was my cousin, and uh, you only knew because you haven't had the chance to talk to him yet since this fight no, occurred. No, I knew my uh, my wife ran over our can opener. We had a, a handheld can opener that broke. <laughs> Where is the story wife ran going? Over your can yeah. opener? My wife ran over my can opener. No, it was she, outside? So she ran over to my mom's house because we, were, we needed to open a, a can of SpaghettiOs as part of dinner. <laughs> so she ran over my mom's. Uh, with or use... without meatballs? With. Oh. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Uh, See, that makes it better. Yeah. Regular or shapes? Regular. Okay. Uh, uh, so you, she you just lost cool points. <laughs> I thought you don't like ketchup. There's no ketchup in that. That's Really? It's not ketchup and noodles in a can? Because no. that's what it looks like. That is mm -hmm. actual, real, hardcore, straight-up spaghetti sauce. It, it, it tastes more like condensed tomato soup. Without yeah. the water added to it. Yeah. And noodles. So um, but so she ran over to my My, my great grandfather knew Chef Boyardi. <laughs> to use her Sorry. can opener. And so she comes home. No, he really knew him. And she's going They were both the chefs thing. in Italy and then came over. Oh really? And she says, uh, it's did true. you hear about your cousin? And there's I have a ton of cousins. I don't know what to expect. Right. And yeah, you're says, Irish. No, she says, no, he got bit on the nose. During, <laughs> so I log on a Facebook. The first thing I see is my sister posting the link to Channel 5 reporting on it. Your sister who lives in Michigan, by the way. Yeah, she's in town right now, though. Oh, okay. Because I was going to say, like, man, that traveled fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say, out. it kind of sucks that you live, like, right down the road. She heard about it in Michigan before. No, she yeah, she's <laughs> home right now. Okay. So she, she had posted the link to Channel 5's story about it. And I go and click on it, and sure enough, as I'm watching it, I'm watching Channel 5 News, and sure enough, there it is, real quick, passing. They start talking about him. Um, and he's okay. He seems to be. He's got stitches. We actually have the picture. That Can we stuff. call him? We. Uh, well, I don't have his phone number. and it, <laughs> <laughs> They're really close. <laughs> you know, we're not it those would, kind of cousins. It would quite possibly be the worst interview we've ever done on this show, and that's saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now I really want to talk I to stand him. by that statement completely <laughs> Oh you've got a blown up picture I want There to, is yeah. That's the one that was on Well here if you take oh, it You can hold it up for the he camera he really got bit man. Well yeah Well they said bit on the nose Yeah <laughs> What were you expecting Well I don't know in, in her defense dude When you think of a bite like that It looks like it might have needed stitches That looks like it has oh. stitches it, Oh does it, it looks Yeah like <laughs> I'm like that I looks exactly look that What it. the side of his nose like, is Like that it. looks like a dog bite dude That doesn't look yeah. like a human Bite. Well, that's a bite. That's someone biting. Bite. A bite bite, not a nibble <laughs> like what they normally not, say. Oh, so-and-so bit me at school. No, so-and-so. Let's put it this way. When I have bite fights with my kids, she doesn't look like I that. I say not bite <laughs> bite bite, actual assault bite. Yeah, Which, well, <laughs> your, your bite fights are completely Damn different. It, dude, I different. totally, online, I was I was looking online for, uh, for prep, I think, yesterday or the day before, and something popped up about somebody having bite fights. No joke, and <laughs> son of a bitch, I can't remember for the life of me what it was now. I you were drinking. No, I swear to God. I, I think I swear to God. Like, I, I saw think, somebody, I think I swear I saw, to God. Saw, yeah. somebody, I, oh, how about this? I swear to God, you were drinking. I was saying, because <laughs> as you went to say, I swear to God, you realized, oh, crap, she's right. I was drinking. <laughs> but I still read it, I swear. I'm pretty sure. I think. I Whatever. swear. Johnny Five, get on it. See if you can Google somebody that bite fights. Had bite uh, fights recently. Actually, I'm already on looking at it and the only thing is bite fight vampires versus, versus werewolves no it wasn't that it's you can play it for free though 
I can play mine for free, too. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, yes, but one could potentially get police called on you, and <laughs> the Whatever. other involves vampires and werewolves. Only if you're some lame child protective person. Uh, we actually have now, apparently, um, what had happened was, I guess, your cousin, there's there's these people, they're called rovers, that go around because... Which I never knew until the story, by the well, way. Well, the law is not that old. They just started doing it like a few years ago where you can't like pick well, it and it's have been the signs. As, as long as I've been voting, I remember, you have to be at least a certain distance right. from the actual door to the polling location. I remember people being right up on that stuff, though, like when I was younger, because I used to have it in my high school. I remember walking outside and people being like right up on the building. They I, may have backed it up, some, yeah. But there's always been rules as to how close they can be because they can't be in the building. They right. can't be like in the doorway when you go in. So apparently they have I don't know the the board of elections has these rovers that walk around to make sure that the people with the signs are complying with the rules. Mm-hmm. And he's walking out with his little yardstick and he's measuring how far away they are from the building, and um. This rover got in a fight with a lady who was posting a sign saying that the lady was too close. Apparently, the altercation got combative, according mm-hmm. to uh, News Channel 5. And Pat's cousin then... Or, or according to my cousin. Oh, was that a direct quote from him? Their source is my cousin. And Flanagan <laughs> said the situation was combative. Stop speaking in the first person, Pat. Um, that would be third person. Third person. <laughs> Wait, so the, the rover bit him? Yes. yes, the 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 rover started getting like physical with the lady, so Pat's cousin stepped in to try to protect and help the lady from getting her ass beat, and that's why we don't listen to his show. Right, and <laughs> then and then rover bit Pat's cousin, who he was on uh, 19 Action News today for part of their stupid radio wars that they're doing, which I still want to throw our hat in the ring for. <laughs> we're not a morning show. Yeah, but we're but on we're morning on, show we're central. <laughs> but we are on the center of all morning we, shows. We are a morning show. It's just our morning starts really, really late. I'll tell you what. When Chris posts our it's show on our website at 9 o'clock in the morning, in we're the, a morning show. Yeah. That's um, right. It's morning somewhere. So there, I did find a video for you of a bite fight. Thank you. Thank you. But it's a dog and a dude. All right. Aww. All right. All right. <laughs> well, whatever. Somebody yeah. should call well, no, PETA yeah, on him. The next, the next thing I found was a picture of Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> we all know yeah, that, how that, that ends. Was, that was page seven in the images, by the way. That's, That's because the, the, the kind of bite fight that Otter has, you can't post on YouTube because it's illegal. Because <laughs> <laughs> literally people will be calling police. Yes. Whatever. Regardless. Like that girl that posted that video of her dad beating her. Pat's cousin tried to be a hero, and he got bit for it. <laughs> On the nose. On the nose, nonetheless. That's which I guess is a pretty good place to bite somebody. Like, I know when I get hit in the nose, like, immediately. It hurts. It's going to put you down. Yeah, like, you can feel your eyes start to tear yeah. up, and it messes, like, everything up. And you could be completely fine, but your eyes will still water. Sure, absolutely. So, I mean, and he ran away. The dude bit him and then took off. So bite him on the nose. Now he can't see, and he's gone. They don't know where he went. Now this wasn't some publicity for your cousin. For what? What does his cousin know. need publicity for? <laughs> and that's the worst way to go about doing it. Hey, guy, come bite me at 7:30 p.m. on this day. The only place my, the only thing my cousin's ever needed publicity was running for board of our co-op. <laughs> and I don't oh. think this will help his chances. Was he up for if, election today? If his, yeah, was no, he they, on the ballot? <laughs> it's not a public election. It's the co-op. I don't know when they vote. vote. Maybe they coincide that so everybody can vote it for everything all at one time. They, um, no, they voted a while ago and he lost. Um, his name isn't <laughs> William, is it? He, no. Damn. He's getting the sympathy vote for next time. Anyhow, hey, uh, Chris, can you pull up uh, Paper Lace, Billy, Don't Be a Hero? <laughs> uh, no, his his name is Greg. Greg Close Flanagan. enough. We'll just... We'll just talk over that part before you play josh's video though we have audio Oop. because apparently um pat's cousin <laughs> called channel five as he was leaving metro hospital <laughs> I, he mu- I don't think it was even as he was leaving that's this what report I, that's got what I to read. Him. but then they have pictures of him uh, i guess if it's is. already stitched they had to have been yeah because there is a bandage over so i'm guessing that's that's post but it looks like they're waiting to get into the entrance i think that's from the emergency like yeah that looks yeah. like they're waiting to get into yeah. the emergency room yeah that could be just it's like true. a temp bandage. Well, either you know, way, apparently him. we have audio. You can tell us if, if it's your cousin or not, because I don't know who's going to be talking, because I haven't heard it. I don't know if it's just going to be a reporter or witnesses or what. Also, by the way, the biting took place. This is where the voting was at Gloria Day Evangelica Lutheran Church. Mm. It's on Memphis at 58th. It's rude <laughs> to bite someone at a church. I'm saying, right? Play the audio. 
Then why do we Let's eat Jesus at the, at the polls, church? A voter bitten on the nose, and he blames an election worker. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Lee Jordan. Things can get heated when it comes to Election Day, but we've never heard of anything quite like this. News Channel 5's John Kosick just talked with the man who was bitten. John, how in the world did something like this happen? You know, good question, Lee. It sounds like something out of a Three Stooges short, but this really did happen. And if you ask the victim himself, he doesn't know quite how it happened. But check it out for yourself. Greg Flanagan, Barry the scars that show on his nose from the attack that happened this afternoon at this West Side polling place, a church on Memphis Avenue. It started when Flanagan says a roving Board of Elections employee got into an argument with a campaign volunteer over campaign signs he felt were too close to the polling place. That's when Flanagan came along after voting and tried to intervene. That's what he said. He exchanged words with the okay. election workers and then. And the next thing I know. He headbutts me, and he's got his arm around me somehow. I don't know how, because I couldn't. By that time, I was in shock from getting headbutted, and he was biting my nose. <laughs> and the guy, the guy working a pulse here, pulled the guy off me. Or I would, my nose would be on the sidewalk. You could see the blood when you walked up here. His nose. What's going through your mind at this point? Um, I'm hoping that I don't lose my nose. <laughs> Amazing. Flanagan was taken to the uh, Metro Health Medical Center where he was treated for his injuries. The Board of Elections cooperating uh, with the police. That elections worker ran off. They have forwarded his name on to police. Police are looking for him at this point. Reporting live in the newsroom, John Kasich, News Channel 5. Oh, well, John, beyond this very bizarre God. incident, would you say that things have been going pretty smooth at the polls today? Pretty smooth for, for the most part. He still yeah, has his nose. I'm retracting my previous statement. I'm hoping I keep my nose should be on your side. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it was going to be, I thought my nose would be on the sidewalk, but then he went up himself with the... I would like now, to I should explain nose. this I'm about... next week's intro. <laughs> I should explain this about my cousin. He's an alcoholic. He's, um, well, no, that's <laughs> a guess. <laughs> that I didn't need to I'm not going to lie. He sounded really drunk when he was giving that interview. He's Irish. Dude. No, he, the, I would say he's perpetually sounds like that. <laughs> but he, he's lost way. some weight over the years. Back in the, in the late nineties or so, he had a little bit more weight on him. Okay, and was uh, a spitting image of Drew Carey. Okay, to the point that when the Major League Baseball All Star Game was in town mm -hmm. in ninety seven, I was there. He went down for one of the batting practices or the home run derby or something, and uh, was approached to sign autographs. Shut up, <laughs> and did. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Where was this guy when I was looking for another co-host? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm sorry, you don't have gold like I'm hoping I don't lose my nose. <laughs> yeah. However, that being said, I agree with Pat. That would probably be one of our worst interviews ever. <laughs> Why? I thought he was good. I don't was know, pretty much, We pretty much got all of it right there. Like, that was the extent of it, yeah. That was, that was, that there's was, a reason that was, was the money shot. There's I mean, a reason honest. there was a quick interview and then move on to other election <laughs> coverage. <laughs> so uh, how else is everything going besides <laughs> this weird guy that so, got his nose bit off? is everybody else voting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. Have, Did anybody uh, else lose yeah. any body parts? <laughs> <laughs> Have there been extremities of other voters at all found on the sidewalk? I don't know, man. Flash drive APT's guy. APT's disincluded. Flash drive guy ended up being pretty good. I that think was, a, have, but that was a fluke. Let's be honest, man. Flash drive guy was a complete and total fluke. That he, was. He's in jail right now. Is he? Yeah. Okay. Well, that explains it. Um, actually, I, I found out today that your cousin has something in common with Brody Jenner. Because girl yes. had sent me a story um, today that apparently Brody Jenner and I guess this cat's with Avril Lavigne. Yeah, and I guess he's friends with uh, Adam. No, Avril Lavigne and Adam Levin from Maroon Five. They were all together. Okay. Yeah. Uh, apparently he's with him. they got in some bar fight, and some dude took a bottle and cracked Brody Jenner in the head, and he tweeted leaving the hospital saying that he's gonna have a nice new scar on his head, and what your cousin now is gonna have a pretty sweet new scar on his yeah. nose. I have leaving the hospital with a sweet new scar is no uh I hope I get to keep my nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He didn't tweet, I hope I get to keep my forehead. <laughs> does your cousin have a Facebook or a Twitter? Uh I can't imagine he does. Damn it. No, come on. I would love to see those status updates. <laughs> 
We need him. We need him <laughs> next week. Next week, uh, like I said earlier, this is going to be Rooster's last show for six weeks, and Girl's not going to be here next week. So next week's uh, going to be old school. I was saying you want him to come into the studio. Yeah. <laughs> so we, next week he needs to come in. We need more bodies. Sit in Girl's spot. We need... <laughs> Oh my God! We should totally make him into. <laughs> remember, remember, remember how we did uh, the story uh, a couple years back about the the real life superheroes? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We should totally make him into one of those. Oh no! How awesome would that be? Be like, all right, listen, we'll pay you like twenty bucks a week. <laughs> We'll make your costume and just go and try to find injustice and step in and see what else can get bitten. Because if that's the worst thing that's gonna happen to him, he has to be kind of for it. We'll even give him one of those badass Horace Grant face plates. Right? Sure, sure. To protect his nose. Until he heals, because you have to leave the option for more nose biting if we're going to get more quotes like his first one to happen. I think we should make him into a superhero. <laughs> he wants to be a hero so bad. He had to stick his nose where it didn't belong. But um bum Because it got By bit. the way, his brother's a retired Cleveland police officer. We, I, I take back every bad thing I've ever said. It's awesome. <laughs> Because his brother's my godfather. That's so, dude. I can only imagine. I can only imagine being like your aunt and uncle, and being like, "Here's our son, the heroic uh, uh, ex-retired Cleveland police officer, and here's our other son, the guy who got bit on the nose at the, <laughs> at the voting polls." Oh, hey. Some shadows are just too hard to step out of. <laughs> if he didn't have a complex before, he does now. <laughs> but he still has his nose. That's all that matters. Yes, and it's not on the sidewalk, dancing around somewhere. Is that what he said? Is that? Is well, did he say something about like I hoped it was? I thought it was. I heard like, something. Well, he on said the that the, one of the poll workers pulled the guy off him, and if he hadn't, it would have ended. His yeah. nose would have ended up. His on a nose sidewalk would have somewhere. ended up on a sidewalk somewhere because that's not dramatic. Well, because he said they could see the blood as they walked up to interview him all over the sidewalk, apparently. Yeah, but, when, I mean, injuries to the face. I mean, you get a lot of blood. Especially if you've been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it thins out your blood. I still, I don't know, dude. Like, I, you guys say that's a regular bite. That still looks like a pretty wicked bite to me. That's the things that you see, like, on the, on the news when they have the little kid that got mauled by a pit ball. His face looks like that. Not, oh, uh, some rover bit me. Summer Rover. <laughs> like, and like, he had to get him, what too. What if the like, Pitbull's name was Rover? Ah. Uh-huh. Mm. But it wasn't because they say the name. Um, <laughs> if you look where the bite is, though, I mean, he got him good. If, you, if you're going to bite a guy in the nose, that's right where you want to bite him. He didn't mess around. Like, you could see his mouth was around his nostril here, it, right kinda, where it flares. Actually, the guy that taught me how to weld had a scar in that same spot. <laughs> From uh, you're saying we have a serial biter? No, no, no. He, this guy. This was a little it's bit different, but he was theory. he was actually <laughs> <laughs> he was he was actually grinding off a piece of steel that he just uh, welded, and the wheel bit down, jumped up, and sliced off half of his nose. Oh, nice! It was yeah. I mean, they reattached it, but yeah, Jackie carried a uh, wicked scar. I've done that before. Sliced off half your nose? No, I, I had a grinder wheel break on me and shoot across the stage and. Not hitting anybody, so I guess it's not that cool. Never mind. Oh, yeah, man. You have an idiot on me? I do. Comes to us out of Tarrant, Alabama. Apparently, uh, 34-year-old Montego Arrington last week posted the following status update on his Facebook page. Has anyone, with the number one, <laughs> else ever thought about <laughs> strapping a bomb... You win again. <laughs> ...on in walk in a police department... <laughs> In blowing the expletive up. <laughs> well, anonymous source alerted deputies from HRS, <laughs> Jefferson County Sheriff's Office Street Crimes Unit, who learned that Arrington was on probation for manufacturing methamphetamine. Nice. Aww. The deputies told Arrington's probation officer, who went to his home on Waverly Street to conduct a home visit. During that inter- during that visit, apparently the officer discovered pornographic images of children stored on his computer. Wow. Uh oh. He was arrested on charges of possession of child <laughs> pornography and probation violation. It's not the same as yours, because I almost used yours. And probation violation. He is in the county jail with bond set at $20,000. Uh, one of the local deputies at this to say, note to self, do not post something stupid on the internet for all the world to see, most especially a blatant threat to law enforcement. Right. Sure. Like, obviously the guy wasn't going to do it. Obviously. But the cops are going to take that seriously. 
So I kind of want to do that now, like just rove Facebook, looking for people saying stuff about their jobs or law enforcement and just F every one of those people up and <laughs> well, I'll be the anonymous guy. Like, I'm going to make that my job now. I see people who do that about their jobs all the time on Facebook. Like that they're going to blow their job up? You should alert authorities. Well, no, not that they're going to blow their job they up. They hate their boss? Yeah, Alert yeah. their boss. I will now, yes. You should. You've, you've inspired me. It's like the drunk driver that I called 1-800-GRAB-DUI on. Maybe you can get him fired and get a job somewhere that doesn't charge extra for the kids' meal. Ooh, oh. yeah. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, <laughs> we have more breaking news that literally also just happened today. Probably around the same time Pat's cousin was getting his nose bit off. Probably. You're listening to Project X. lifestyle then you should arrive in style lifestyle limousine service whether it's dinner for two an evening at the winery or a night out on the town lifestyle limousine provides extraordinary service check them out on the web lifestyle limousine service.com reserve your ride now 330-903-0508 330-903-0508 Lifestyle Limousine Service. And make sure you tell them Morning Show Central Radio Network sent you. Call the show toll free. 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. Cocaine Energy Supplement. Due to great consumer demand. Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world famous Cocaine Energy Supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country. As well as online at RedoxDirect.com. That's RedoxDirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all new Cocaine Energy Supplement social network where you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to LoveCocaine.com. Here's some awesome retarded comedy all up in your face. We're having a good time tonight, man, I'll tell you. Life's all about timing, man. It's, it's all about timing. I've had any time in my entire fucking life. Do you realize if I was in Las Vegas a year ago and I had a crystal ball, do you fucking realize the odds I could have gotten if I was willing to bet that I would outlive Heath Ledger? <laughs> I don't know. I, this is for the young kids out there. I have done a shitload of drugs in my life. I, I really have. Uh... But I'll tell you what, I did them wrong. I did them wrong. I got a weird effect. I'm the only guy who ever got fat on cocaine. <laughs> I, went, I went to rehab for coke, and a black guy came up to me and said, Damn, man, what are you pouring that shit on, cheeseburgers? <laughs> You the fattest cool kid I ever seen! Because that's the way black guys talk in rehab. They don't sound like Baraka. The other thing about coke is, here's some advice, only coke if you're good looking. It sucks doing cocaine when you're ugly. Because every time you do a line, you gotta see your fucking face in the mirror. You know, you're like, holy There's the whole reason I'm getting high in the first place. Crystal meth's a good drug if you need to walk to St. Louis one weekend. <laughs> I tried to figure out why I do drugs. In high school in the 80s, the anti-drug slogans were awful. Just say no, that worked. <laughs> Another big one was hugs are better than drugs. That was actually on fucking bumper stickers. My mother used to say that to me as I left the house. She'd say, Art, remember, hugs are better than drugs. And I believed her. I believed everything my mother said until the first time I got high at a party. <laughs> I leaned back and I was like, wow, this is way better than when my Uncle Perry hugs me. <laughs> what else has my mother been lying to me about? Am I not the most handsomest boy in New Jersey? Hugs are great, but better than drugs? Come on. <laughs> Let me put it to you this way. I never drove to Harlem at 4 a.m. to get somebody to hug me.
Hey, Carlos, here's 20 bucks. Just put your arms around. 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first-class web hosting provider. It's 99.9% .9 uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30-day guarantee, no questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Coming at you from the rock and roll capital, it's an exciting and fast-paced global forum with the man who knows how to help get your band even better. Yeah! Doc Rock tackles industry issues with informed guests and invites your questions, concerns, and tales of band life. <laughs> There's never a dull moment in Doc's world of showbiz. He cares about artist issues and escalating your talents. So make an appointment with Doc Rock on Band-Aid. Thank you! Tuesday night, starting at 9.05. Only on MorningShowCentral.com. Hey, unsigned bands. You are jam-packed. Hey, unsigned bands. Want your music heard? Yeah! Shoot us an email with the name of the band and the MP3 of the song. Send it to show at morningshowcentral.com. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. <laughs> Every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise. On MorningShowCentral.com. Looking for reliable and affordable shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits, a 99.5% uptime guarantee, and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only three dollars a month you have no excuse not to get a server of your own plus with the option to add auto dj and on-demand services you can be confident your station will be all it can be custom plans are also available at their website simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the shoutcast hosting link to get started right now msc radio network has just tweeted the following this bowel movement won't come out <laughs> Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash MSC Radio Network. You know the fresh out of the shower feeling? Yeah, us neither. Project X. Well, we're back. <laughs> Rooster still hasn't shown up yet. <laughs> Apparently he was found dead in his car. Girl tried to save him. He said, leave me the hell alone. Yep. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't understand. Uh, what happened? Court issue? Or Chris issue? <laughs> <laughs> You're not right there. Get to the website, projectnextshow.com, project spell with a K. Not with a C! <laughs> <laughs> because we're off and recorded. I've actually done my line like that before in the old studio yeah, at one point. Yep. That was the uh, AIW show, wasn't it? 
Probably. Um, I think it was. Sorry, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I, the the worst part is I didn't know it was back on. I was just trying to shout so someone's mic would pick it up. <laughs> um, it was it was brought to my attention earlier this week. If you go to that rooster attack someone and tried to bite their nose off. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Try to vote on my watch. He's the guy. <laughs> He's here. Get him. I wish they didn't know his name. Because I would totally Facebook status update that I was the guy. Like, <laughs> just bit some douchebag's nose to see how long it would take them to come get me. Need help. Need somewhere to hide out. Totally bit a guy's nose. <laughs> he might lose it. I'm not sure. I think I left part of it on the sidewalk. <laughs> um, no, I found out earlier this week uh, uh, via Chris, um, there were pictures posted to the Project X Facebook page. Um, some older photos of us at the studio doing the show at the studio in Lakewood. Okay. And um, some of the pictures were from when we did the AIW interview. Um, the one with uh, Haley Hatred. Who else came out? Oh, so that was before I was around. Yeah. I was like, I wasn't I could, there for the AIW. Chandler came out. Yeah, I th- Chandler, Thorne, and Haley came out. That's why I was laughing so hard is because I did that during that show. The one you're talking about is when I had to scream from clearer in the back of the studio. Right. My line because we had to use all of the available mics for guests. Because everybody was there. Yeah. Um, uh, we found out. <laughs> Let's be honest. No, you didn't. That <laughs> we really didn't, but we tried to. <laughs> we found out that I started planking. I, I started it. Uh, this was about <laughs> a, two years ago or so, maybe. Was... More than that, because I wasn't even on the show yet. That would have been 2009. At least because Brian was co or Brian was hosting. That's so what I'm was saying. It was earlier so. than that because I wasn't on the show yet. Let's say two interview. and a half to three years ago. That picture with Brian and you is from that show too. Um, we we had them. Well, in, that narrows it down. And, <laughs> <laughs> and and Haley Hatred is a chick wrestler. Um, she's she's a, a good sized female. She's an Amazon. Um, let's be honest. and I wanted to see if she could deadlift me. And sure enough, I, I laid on the floor, flat as a board, straight as a board, flat as a nail, straight as a nail, flat as a board. Light as an arrow, stiff as a, I don't know, light, light as a feather. Light as a feather, stiff as, as a board. Yeah, there you go. Um, so, so, and, and, and Whatever, she, and it's she, a racist pose anyways. <laughs> and and she, she lifted me up straight and I was, I was planking air. I was planking Haley Hatred. I started that. And I didn't even know it. <laughs> and at that time you weren't married and you wished you could have planked him. <laughs> Um, sh- my idiot nominee before we get into our other breaking news stories comes from wherever Ketchikan is, Alaska. It sounds about right. Is it really Alaska? Yeah, it sounds like it. <laughs> I forgot Pat said he was going to use this. Story, I said so I looked at this one. I don't have to look it. this one up. That's awesome. Um, an 80 year old, an 80 year old, one more time, an 80 year old city councilman, also the city's former mayor has been arrested on charges of possessing child porn. And this is why I had to check to see if we had the same one, because all I knew was mine had child porn, and I heard child porn in you. Uh, Whatever. Uh, Apparently, a computer shop... It's totally going to be the answer to one of your crossword puzzles tomorrow. (laughs) A computer shop in Ketchikan called police Friday to report that a worker discovered the images when John W. Jack Shea brought in his laptop for repair. Um, I guess the dude had trouble printing from the computer when they hooked it up and started it all up the printer began printing items that had already been queued in the printer it turned out to be child porn uh he's been charged with 10 counts of possessing child pornography prosecutors may add charges as police review evidence found friday in his home so apparently a dude took his computer in to get it fixed because his child porn wouldn't print because <laughs> his child porn <laughs> wouldn't print right. didn't clear any of the stuff that he was trying to print and, and apparently the issue was with the printer and not the computer. Right. <laughs> He's 80. Because as soon as they hooked it up, that print queue started working. <laughs> um, uh, his, arrest, him right. his arrest came less than 30 minutes after he had finished performing a small role in a fall musical at the Ketchikan High School Auditorium. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> Wait, it gets better. Uh, after being released on bail, he also performed Saturday night. <laughs> to his hand, he's a uh, he's a true entertainer. <laughs> These are the kind the of the show must in fact go on. <laughs> These are the kind of things that happen in Alaska. 
Uh, police are reviewing videotapes and digital media, such as thumb drives, seized at his home. Right now, I've got at least one detective and two officers working full time on this case. We've got a lot of evidence to go through, and we'll see where it leads us. So, how many how many cops? Uh, uh, one detective and two cops. So, so the whole city's police force. I was gonna say like half the police force of the state of Alaska. Just about. Right. When those vampires show up, they're screwed. <laughs> 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 how much is it how much is it that they pay you to live there oh I don't remember Johnny Five get on it just look at the Simpsons movie <laughs> no it's a real thing no I know but that's why I remember it because I've thought about it it's like man if they pay me to live there I would do it it's Alaska <sighs> it's more than my wife and I's combined income didn't I know that we <laughs> didn't we interview a guy on the show that was from Alaska or talk to somebody that was from Alaska, or maybe uh, I just met somebody from Alaska. Possible. We talked to somebody from Wisconsin. No, I talked to a guy from Alaska who who was telling me that how we have deer crossing, they have like moose crossing out there, and they actually see moose on a regular basis, like we see deer. And wasn't that Melzer from Canada? Uh, yeah, I, you know what? That I think that sounds that sounds familiar. Was he? From it's the Canada? same thing, right? What, Alaska, he, Canada. Yeah, <laughs> might as well be. I mean, yeah. Alaska, Canada. Yeah, all the natives are ugly. I mean, you can just blend them into one. Kanaska. Yeah. He's an American now. Yeah, I saw that. Our good that. buddy James Mauser. I saw that. He also had one of the coolest Facebook uh, shares ever. The uh, Stormtrooper riding the Golden Retriever. I saw that. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's actually on my computer at home waiting to be put on his wallpaper. I also saw, I don't I don't think he posted it, somebody else, it was uh, like a week or two before Halloween. And, and I'm gonna preface this with saying I am dead set against dressing your pets up for Halloween or any other time of year. Correct oh, answer. Uh, yeah. The pet's cold, so I'm gonna put a sweater on it. No, it has fur, like just shut up. That's why it has fur. Um, that is why, yeah. However, I saw the coolest Halloween costume ever for a dog and it was a dog dressed up as an AT-AT <laughs> from Hoth. <laughs> that was, <laughs> was uh, awesome. That was my response when Brian sent the mini Stonehenge mm. a couple weeks ago. Was uh, actually it's a prehistoric uh, edit Walker. Uh, I was kind of pissed <laughs> that somebody he texted it to me. Yeah, he sent it to me and he posted it on. And when I saw the text, I told him that it was the set piece from uh, Spinal Tap. Mm -hmm. Somebody posted it on his Facebook when he posted it. They stole my joke. They stole it without even knowing you. Hacked my phone. They this, telepathically raped you. <laughs> this year, <laughs> this year, uh, it was one thousand one hundred seventy-four dollars for the Alaska Permanent Fund. And that's like a yearly thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You get that every year. Yeah. I thought it was On top yep. of your tax return. Now, two thousand eight was the highest since its inception in eighty two. Uh, in 2008, it was 3269 because wow. of the Alaska resource rebate. I don't know why people aren't taking advantage of this. Yeah, I mean, really. I mean, yearly, sure, it sounds like, you know, $1,100 sounds like pennies for a year, but it's every year you're getting it. Mm -hmm. It's guaranteed on top of your income. Your yeah. income and your taxes and whatever else. That's awesome. And it's Alaska. Which means if we could find a radio gig up there... That's we could we could stand to make about twelve hundred dollars a year. Right, I, I actually say, might look for a radio gig up there. That's actually huh. per person too. Oh really? Yeah. So wow. it's per legal resident is what what that said. Is a child so, a legal resident? No, I mean legal aged wow. resident. So okay. it's a Johnny Kate plus eight. Yeah. So it would be like, Yeah. So it'd be like <laughs> twenty two hundred. Sure. How about uh, the Duggars? No, a couple of their people oh, and not are only overage. that, but they just announced they're they're pregnant again. They're having their twentieth child. Those people 20 need to stop, kids, man. Yeah, that's what I said. Legally, there should be a way to chemically sterilize one of them. They got to They have to be that damn movie that we were talking about that I said I saw a couple weeks ago. That was kind of modeled after uh, West, Westboro Baptist Church. Oh yeah, that has to be them. Red State. Yeah. Um, the uh, the pastor of the church that my wedding was at. Mm. Uh, he and his wife have like 16 or 17, I think. Oh, my God. He, it literally got to the point one time because there were blocks where I wasn't going there. It's, I'd pop in for the first time in like five, six years, say mm -hmm. hi to everyone, and then leave for another five or six years. It's the best way to do it. And I, uh, I popped in one time, and I saw his wife like helping set stuff up afterwards. And I was like, wow, she looks, she looks good. Looks like she lost some weight. And I realized it had been she the first the time. Kid. No, it had been the first time oh. in, in like the 15 years I had known her that she wasn't pregnant. That's so, <laughs> so, <sick. laughs> That's so sick. Um, so more on our breaking news show. 
-hmm. We broke that Pat's cousin got bit on the nose. At a polling place. And at or around the same time, we've already had two deaths this week. Uh, Heavy D died today. So Heavy P's cousin Heavy G got bit on the nose. <laughs> right. Yeah. And now Heavy D is dead. Right. In case. Uh, and in case you think they're unrelated, and um, X equals two. Little known secret: Heavy D's soul was contained in my cousin's nose. <laughs> oh, is that how it happens? Mm. Oh, man. That's why they haven't quite figured out what he died from yet. Right. The, the coroner says he's dead, but they don't know from what. They're not. Um, well, he, the body's not even cold yet, dude. They're not gonna find out for a bit. And they're saying it doesn't look like any foul play was involved. He was found outside. Of his house, like in the walkway, on the walkway. His house in Beverly Hills. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, mind you, we were looking him up because I talked about what a great actor he was. Mm -hmm. So, Girl and Johnny Five were looking him up on uh, on IMDb to see his acting credits. Mm -hmm. And he did a lot of shows. He did some movies. This is really the last big thing that he's ever done, what we're hearing right now. And the guy still had a house in Beverly Hills. I mean, the one season of the Tracy Morgan show, he was in every episode. But that's pretty much it. So R.I.P. to the D. That's like a rap song. <laughs> this is him and his boys. So I'm going to... Uh, that's for my boy. I like the way you wiggle, you don't jingle, but you jiggle. You spread over your love because it's heavy in the middle. I'm moving like a movie, you want to groove, so I groove the thing. Some serious stuff. His uh, bio on Twitter says, I have relentless optimism. What's awesome is, uh, I guess, like, uh, I think I have the story, actually, so I could probably look at that. Um, <laughs> he, uh, he tweeted, by 16 the 16 hours before he died. Yeah. He tweeted, be inspired. But before that. And then died. Ironically enough, about an hour before that, he tweeted, smoking Joe Fraser. Rest in peace. Truly one of the greatest heavyweight champs that ever lived. God's speed, Mr. Fraser. So he. Wait, he, God's speed yeah, or he, God's no, speed? He, he typed God's speed. So God's fleet of foot to you, sir. So. So that's how he died. He smoked Joe Fraser and died. <laughs> he, uh, he also was on rock so you know you gotta give him that yeah it sounds like he had a bunch of stuff and he was yeah, working he on he was on svu he's got a new he's got a he's one of the security guards in tower heist yeah he Murphy makes a cameo coming out. holy crap i printed an article that girl has sent over about joe frazier also dying mm-hmm. it's a friggin 30 page article <laughs> what <laughs> Does and it why? Get, does it give a transcript of the play-by-play of every one of his fights with Ali? Why is that there? <laughs> That's a half a pack of paper. Yeah. The only thing, uh, when Smokin' Joe was asked if he was similar to Rocky Balboa, he replied, sure. I worked at the slaughterhouse. I'm the guy that ran in the streets of Philadelphia. That's all I see from this three-page article about him dying. That, I thought the guy that ran in the streets of Philadelphia was Tom Hanks. Isn't that <laughs> what the Bruce Springsteen song said? Yeah, that's what I heard. All right. Um, Just making sure. So that yeah, was, that was that Denzel Washington Forrest Gump crossover that everybody forgets about. <laughs> Joe Frazier died. Uh, uh, Heavy D died today. And then before them, a few days before those two, instead of getting the black trifecta, <laughs> Andy Rooney went to hell, went to hell, went ahead and ruined it <laughs> by possibly That's going what it to mean. hell. I mean, you don't know. <laughs> I'm fairly certain. Oh, I was pissed because when I saw the article, I was so excited because I, I read the article quickly and I saw... Rooney dead. I was like, yeah, I got one for the death pole, Mickey Rooney. And I saw it was Andy Rooney. I'm like, you son of a bitch, Andy Rooney. <laughs> God. But granted, it would be very little points because he was 92 years old. However, I just wanted one guy. <laughs> Couldn't even get that. Still nope. holding out for the E-Trade baby. <clears throat> yeah. We're going to take a short break. and we come back? We might talk about celebrities some more. We also might talk about, you heard of, you've heard of snakes on a plane? Mm-hmm. Well, the Irish have this great new idea called porn on a plane. Different kind of snake on a plane. Nice. Uh huh. She <laughs> see, she scalped the joke. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you think if we set her up more often, she might actually knock him down like that? No. No, because her friend, <laughs> her friends have been trying to set her up for years, and that's not working. <laughs> oh, come on! You're listening on! to Project X. <laughs> Lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's
It's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town. Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web, lifestylelimousineservice.com. Reserve your ride now, 330-903-0508, 330-903-0508. Lifestyle Limousine Service, and make sure you tell them, Morning Show Central Radio Network sent you. Call the show toll-free, 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. Cocaine Energy Supplement, due to great consumer demand. Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world-famous Cocaine Energy Supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country, as well as online at RedoxDirect.com. That's RedoxDirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all-new Cocaine Energy Supplement social network where you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to lovecocaine.com. Heat 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen Heat 99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, Heat99 Technologies has evolved into a first-class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30-day guarantee, no questions asked. For more information, go to Pete99.com. Pete99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. Pete99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Rise above the clutter, brand your identity, and make a statement. Broken Fan Media, expert video production, television and web commercials, music video, real estate tours, live concerts and events, state-of-the-art post-production, video and audio editing. Check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com, 434-944-0472. Broken Fan Media, the next generation of sight and sound. Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. Here's some awesome retarded comedy all up in your face. It's so awesome because I've been on the road so much and Cracker Barrel is, is like, they're f***ing everywhere, Cracker Barrels. Like, have you guys been, have you guys been to Cracker Barrel? Do you know what you're <laughs> Cracker Barrel! Cracker Barrel! It's our country tile with f***ing Cracker Barrels. Like, if you're, at, and they're in the same place as you're on a free, where are you from? Uh, South Carolina. You're from South Carolina? Mm-hmm. So you're on a freeway and then there's a truck stop and you look to the right, there's a and they're all exactly the same because uh, rednecks get confused easily. Uh, I don't know, it's not an it's old shit unless there's a hundred rocking chairs out front. One, two, four, hundred. All right, get out of the truck. Come on inside. Let's wave through the weird country store full of shit we don't need. Like a t-shirt with a teddy bear hugging the flag or a, a NASCAR. Alan Jackson. I sold merch at his concert. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that you had to see that many fat people in one place. <laughs> is, is he amazing? No, but his fans are amazing. They are? The best, best people watch like ever. The people with the fear of flag tacking. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep, put it on there forever. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. And this one says, up with slavery. Like, why not? <laughs> they're, they're totally racist. They're, 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 they
Is it, is it just like full on racist asshole? Oh, yeah, just like, and like women with like huge like fupas with like their jean shorts pulled up. Fat upper pussy, fat upper pussy. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the huge feathered bangs and crimped hair, like you don't think that that exists anymore since 1992, but then. <laughs> but here's an Alan Jackson pie in your face. face. <laughs> New top 13 coming from Johnny Five. Oh no. In a little bit. Ish. What is it this week? Just random thoughts. Random On thoughts. Life. I've had a lot of time this week <laughs> with the kids and such. Did especially you, over the weekend. Did you think any of these when you were drinking Christmas ale? No. Oh. I don't think anything when I'm drinking Christmas ale. <laughs> <laughs> I only have one thought, and that's. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you and I think when I'm drinking Christmas ale. I need to hurry up and finish this so I can drink that other Christmas ale <laughs> Most that's my, sitting right there. My, my thoughts kind of run like this. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much my line of thought. I can't drink more than one. I just fall asleep after the first one. He never, ever understood his children as well as he does when he drinks <laughs> the uh-huh. he, he, it, It's funny you say that because I, I've noticed since that night, since I had that six pack that night, Connor makes a lot more sense. <laughs> like he really does. Like I understood in complete and total sentence this afternoon. Brittany looked at me and went, "What?" <laughs> He's going to his I'm wife. Like, no, you don't understand. This kid's a genius. Yeah. It's like, dude, no. He wants a cup of milk so he can go back and watch Cars and lay down on his on his little Toy Story bed. <laughs> That's what he wants. <laughs> to you, it might sound like I was just about to buy a cup of milk, but that's what he was saying. <laughs> 
Who's uh, who's abstaining? Are you abstaining from? Idiot I'm abstaining. This week? Yeah. All right. So, uh, girl. Okay. What's your idiot nominee? Mine is out of Manatee County, Florida. By the way, before you go on, we had a really awesome plan last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you really screwed the pooch last week. If you would have showed up, if you would actually showed up, um, and done your idiot. Uh huh. If it was the exact same as Pat's again, uh-huh. we weren't going to say a word until Pat recapped his. Well, that's why I think we should do it. However. If it was anything else other than Pat's, uh-huh. any other idiot nominee, we were going to start laughing hysterically like you had done it again. <laughs> <laughs> and mm, I would assume you would cut yourself off and then not say it. Okay, you right. guys already heard it. And then when we got to the recap, Pat would recap his, which would be completely different. <laughs> and you ruined it. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Big Big one jerk. jerk. Um, okay, so I am Manatee County, Florida, 21-year-old Aaron Hostler. Uh, oh, I did that one last week. <laughs> 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 his, uh, his girlfriend's breaking up with him, so he gets all dramatic, and he grabs a bottle of pills, and he starts swallowing them, and his girlfriend's going, please stop, please stop, and he pushes her down on the ground, and he keeps taking all the pills, and he's going to kill himself because you're leaving me, and I can't stand the thought of you leaving me, but it turns out that he's trying to OD on vitamins. Oh my God. Not just any vitamins. <laughs> yes, Flintstones. How many do you read? What? <laughs> <laughs> Um, and he was actually booked on a misdemeanor charge. I'm assume. Who's, who's Mr. Meaner? That's what I was like. <laughs> or a misdemeanor. I'm assuming having something to do with like, you know, trying to fake a suicide. Wh- Apparently it's a serious offense. Maybe he thought it would actually work. <laughs> right? Because you can't make that mistake. Like I can understand if it would, they were like Centrum because well, you swallow he, those. Well, he pushed her down. So maybe it was some kind of domestic thing that they charged him with. I don't know. You chew. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I it. They're small enough to swallow. <clears throat> sure, you know. But and I have vitamins that I swallow. I thought she was gonna say she has small enough. <laughs> That's things the only thing she. Never mind. But these. <laughs> Oh, but these say Anybody Flintstones. Taken do, that. do you chew Flintstones or swallow Flintstones? I don't know. Chew Flintstones, man. Okay. Then you, you swallow. You them. could swallow you them, to. but then you right. miss out on all the flavor. You can't just Didn't chew them and spit them out. Didn't he notice that they either. were shaped like Wilma and Fred and all of them Let's when he was be taking honest. them? Is anyone here surprised that girl is surprised about whether or not you swallow things? <laughs> oh, and by the way, J5, that's at one hour and one minute where she says she swallows. <laughs> And so it is. Awesome. <laughs> Another guy died. What's this one? This is more breaking news. Oh, wait, no. This is updated Saturday, October 29th. Uh, apparently, a 63-year-old Lakewood dude died Friday of injuries he sustained when he fell through a roof of a building he was repairing. Oh. Not awesome. even going to attempt the name. Died at Metro Medical Center uh, Friday afternoon, several hours after he fell through the roof and into the basement of a building in the 15600 block of Detroit Avenue. Which is either really close to our old building or part of our old building. That's what I was like. I'm guessing if he handed this to you, what's it say on the bottom? Uh, that is not confirmed that it may be our old building. Oh, this is not confirmed it may be at the old place. I, I mean, there. I was at that building briefly on Saturday night, and I didn't hear there. anything about it. God knows that building needs all the work it can get. <sighs> Forbes magazine. It's Dimitrak. <clears throat> yeah, Lurie. what? That, that, Dimitrak Tuluri. Some Indian. There you go. I'm so at, it really doesn't matter. I met an Indian on Saturday night. Like an, a dot or feather? No, like a feather. Oh, awesome. <laughs> um, it, it was this dude. I was at the Spitfire, and we were, we were downstairs in the smoking room, and, and he was really, really dark. Like, really, really, like, cush dark. <laughs> but I saw, like, a tinge of red in him. And then also, I was confused because his hair was like Troy Palomalu's hair. Mm-hmm. So I'm like... Like, I'm a little drunk at the time, and I was looking at him, I'm like, what are you? <laughs> he kind of looks at me, I'm like, are you, like, an Indian? Are you, like, black or something? Like, I'm really confused. And he goes on to tell me that he's part Sioux Indian, part Cherokee Indian, but then also part black. Because at, at first, I guess, I'm like, are you Samoan or something? Because that hair is wacky. <laughs> um, no, he's part Indian and part black. I met him. He was he was interesting. Hmm. Uh also, uh, <laughs> Billy Morris did not sell the hi-fi. He brought on a partner who's a guy that we actually interviewed. It's uh, John Conbricks from Law of Destruction, mm-hmm. who apparently is going to be running all the booking and everything for him now, and they're changing the name to The Foundry. Because the last time they named, they changed the name of the place, it did so well. <laughs> <laughs> well I was like, so started. what's the post show this time? The, the <laughs> The melting pot at the foundry? 
It's got to be something metal because apparently it's going to be an all metal bar called the Foundry. So we'll have to think of something because Mel- I really want to. point? I, <laughs> <laughs> I want to get right back in there as soon as I can. Uh, Forbes magazine. Metal. No. <laughs> even, even, I, even I know to say no. Metal. <laughs> oh, metal cherry. Although pie. that is an awesome song. It's very metal. Um, <laughs> Forbes magazine has compiled its list of the top 10 most overpaid Hollywood stars. Yeah. Now, basically, they're taking the money that the stars are being paid for movies and then the box office return to the studios that are paying them the big monies. I saw this list. Johnny Five, you are going to be pissed. Hmm. No, he's really happy, actually. Yeah, I saw part of it, and I was exceptionally happy with number three, I yep. believe. Yeah, but the problem is that there was nothing <laughs> to be happy about because these people are making this money, and they're not going to stop. Sure. They will eventually. Because um, they have lists like this. Now, the list, This I don't is know. why I write lists. Not necessarily. <laughs> <'cause if> I, <laughs> not You're trying ne- to get shit done. Necessarily, because if I understand this correctly, while they are overpaid, I'm assuming the dollar figure they give is return on... A dollar they're paid. Mm-hmm. That's that's how I read it. Well, then, other than number one, they're mm-hmm. all still turning a profit. Not by much, though. Um, I'll go ten to one. We'll go through this because I see some things that make sense, some things that don't make sense, and then people that are popping into my brain as we speak, they're like, "How are they not on here?" Um, number ten is Nicole Kidman. Mm-hmm. Uh, Six dollar and seventy cent return to the studio on what she gets paid. This is average for all their movies. I don't know when they started, if they started from all of their movies combined or if there's a time frame or not. Um, well, because she's been in a lot of big budget movies recently, too. Sure. That, I mean. This is a really weird like one. Like Australia? Um, number nine, her ex Bo Tom Cruise, $6.35 return. Now, that's not right, right? Pretty much a lot of the movies he's been in have been pretty big box office things. If you look at the Mission Impossible series. Well, yeah. Yeah, but at, how much does it cost to make have, those movies? Exactly. Since You're a, looking at the movie makes $120 million, He's paid 20 Right. So, yeah, $6.35 yeah. is about right. <laughs> uh, number eight, Vince Vaughn, $5.20. Uh, number seven, Adam Sandler. <laughs> that should actually be tied for either eight or seven because he also makes five dollars and twenty cents. Number six is my boy Nick Cage, four dollars and forty cents. <laughs> the vampire Nick Cage, you mean? Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, number five, Denzel Washington, four dollars and twenty-five cents return. Uh, number four, Reese, Reese Witherspoon, easy for me to say, three fifty-five. Number three, Johnny Five's boy Will Ferrell. Studio sees a three dollar and fifty cent return on his movies. Number two, Eddie Murphy, two dollars and seventy cent return. I'm surprised that's even that high with some of the crap he's made. Like, <laughs> yeah. Right? Come on. And then number one, the what? Haunted Come Man. on, the yeah, Haunted yeah, Mansion no, 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 no. was awesome. I'm not even talking Haunted Mansion. <laughs> I'm talking Meet Dave and the Adventures of Pluto Nash. <laughs> the Haunted Mansion. No not one too. saw those. <laughs> I didn't. I saw I, one of them. I saw Pluto Nash. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I didn't pay for it though. What about what about just... what about Norbit? <laughs> black people saw it. <laughs> I, I saw Norbit. I don't think hey, even black Tentually? people saw Norbit. Yep. Bowfinger was awesome too. No, it was on TV and there was nothing. And Bowfinger is like 15 years ago though. That's so. And Johnny Five really and I, I mean, uh, Johnny Five and I were talking about this on something completely different, uh, related differently. Um, I kind of want to see this new heist movie, this Tower Heist that's coming out with Eddie Murphy in it, because from what I've seen in the trailers. His character looks like characters that he was playing in movies 20 years ago, which I'm okay with. He's, from what I can tell, he's not, but there actually was a soundbite from him not long ago saying he essentially wants to get back to that. He right. wants to stop doing family movies and start doing the stuff he used to do again. Yeah, yeah, and possibly even if the scripts don't come in that he wants, possibly even get back to stand-up. That's what Johnny Five actually, was saying. I hate to admit this, dude, but I saw it on Ellen. That, um, that's a great show. What? Oh, that's not really oh, something to wow. hate. Yeah. It's no Regis what? and Kelly. No, I, I I hate that I'm I'm citing Ellen. There's nothing wrong with Ellen. The, the show. I just I hate talk shows on the whole. But it's no, like you know, that. all I get is 
you know, these two channels. I watch Regis and Kelly. I love Regis and Kelly. Uh, you should both be shot dead in the street. The, I'm, glad, um, I'm glad I work during this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he did announce on Ellen that he is currently writing and planning to go out, regardless of the movies. He's He is actively writing and planning on getting out. And I don't then, think there's anything wrong with Alan. There's nothing wrong with the show, per se, except that I shouldn't be watching it. Yeah, I'm just surprised you guys admit to watching it. That's all. I think the Alan show's great. I feel like and I should hate her personally also, not just her show, but I really don't. The, uh, looking at this list, there is a note from somebody here that says, uh, things like production budget and other expenses that may skew what kind of return they really want from an actor affected this list also, why right. they're overrated. So if you have somebody that's in a four hundred million dollar movie and you're paying them twenty million dollars and they're only bringing back in, you know, they're six bucks. Right. You know, you're not even covering their performance. Should give you more than half is what they're. It is basically how they're saying. No, absolutely. That half of your budget should come from hiring this big name star, and it's just not doing that. So that's why their report is overrated. They're turning a profit, but not the profit they should be. Right. Which is their fault for paying what they're paying for? These well, I'm just saying, yeah. and actually, the way it's it's worded isn't even overrated; it's overpaid. Yeah. Sure, I mean it's pretty directly. Yeah. Which I mean, I think we pretty much are all in agreement that all of these idiots are way, way, way overpaid. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I understand. Uh, I'll see some of them talk like on the late night shows and stuff about how you know we were filming for four weeks and it was like twenty hour days for four weeks, and I'm like. Yeah, but then they went yeah, on vacation for three months. Afterwards. Sure, like, mm. okay, that's cool. But it's basically you're, you're working. Uh, okay, the guys from uh, uh, Deadliest Catch, mm -hmm. they only work like a month or you know uh, six weeks, I think it is, or something like that, out of the year for three months or four months. They only mm. work like uh, combined, maybe out of a whole year, three to four months. And these guys are pulling down like on one boating trip. 20 grand a piece what what mm -hmm. they're doing hard dangerous labor these idiots are walking in front of a camera and talking i understand acting is a talent to make people believe and blah blah, blah. yeah but it's not so so is, but it's not so dude. is so is not getting caught up in the ropes for your <laughs> right? right so it's not yeah. falling overboard when yeah. you have 50 foot waves slamming into your boat mm -hmm. I, I don't want to get into that debate because everybody thinks that these people are way overpaid however yeah. uh sports people professional mm -hmm. sports players also are overpaid but they actually have a physical talent mm -hmm. <laughs> that that's can do something and are also like sports teams are proven money makers yeah you know that the oakland raiders no matter how bad they suck are gonna make a crap load of money every year well i, I you think don't know that, that with uh, this that and the fact movies. that let's be honest dude as far as like you know reese witherspoon goes there are 700 people working at the cheesecake factory right now <laughs> That could do her job. Absolutely. No, absolutely. And now, are just as pretty as she is. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's pretty. She's average, though. There's nothing that remarkable looking about her. Much like the number one person on this list, exactly. who I used to have a big crush on. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Drew Barrymore. Studio sees a 40-cent return mm -hmm. on her movies. That's because the last good movie she made was E.T. <laughs> <laughs> And I try really hard because I used to stick up for her almost as much as I would stick up for Elizabeth ha Elizabeth Hasselbeck because I had a really big crush on her. I thought she was really, I'm like, come on, dude. But she did. No. But, <laughs> oh, but then she didn't. No. Uh -huh. Okay. She was married to Tom Green. I win. I'll admit, I like the movie Fifty First Dates. That's terrible. That's terrible. I'm sorry. It's, it's it is the, the worst, worst Adam made. Sandler movie ever made. And he I, has big stickers. I like it. It's so <laughs> sweet, though. No, it's not. It's terrible. It's so Ab sweet. He makes her fall in love with him every day. Yeah, your every vagina's getting in the way of your brain. <laughs> right? Every it's day. so terrible. It's terrible. Which yeah. is the first time her vagina's gotten in the way of anything in a long time. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that one got Chris. Her vagina gets in the way of a lot of things. Her happiness. Her sex life. <laughs> it definitely gets in the way of my happiness. <laughs> But apparently not as much as, I'm just saying. you know, the other. So I'm thinking about other actresses and other actors that I would think would be on this list. And I think wasn't for a while, or maybe she still is, Cameron Diaz, like the highest paid chick actor. Oh, dude, that went down tubes a while ago. Oh, I think. I but she know, was, though, so. right, for a while? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, did, what has she done that's been awesome? Recently? Ever. Or ever. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Um, ever. Nothing. 
Absolutely nothing. Uh, Besides got, being naked in the eighties, there's 80s something and that about Mary. Leaked. That movie's funny. There was something. Well, about and Mary. that's where it all came from. Yeah, she got really popular because of one movie. After that, though, like I don't even know what else she did. I know that stupid one that we just watched. Bad teacher. Bad teacher. Yeah, but that was recent. <laughs> Tina Fey and Eva Longoria are tied at the top for 2011 for the highest paid actors. Re- wow. So not even movie, TV. Yeah. $13 million. Wow. Tina Fey. Like for the year they made, I'm assuming? No, yeah. That was their paycheck last week. <laughs> yeah. Ava Longoria and Tina Fey. Uh, Mariska Hargaday is number two. She's, that chick is hot. Who? That Marge, chick Marge, from CSI, yeah. Marge Hellenberger? Yeah. Okay. Then, Mariska uh, Hargitay's hotter than her. Yeah, Marsha Cross. Who's that? All of them are at 10. Is that a, isn't that a Desperate Housewife? Yeah. And all three of those God, were, at, were at $10 million, and Felicity Huffman makes nine. Terry Hatcher makes nine. So wait a second. Is this but for just television, Ellen though? Pompeo makes seven. I don't know, dude. It just That's says actresses. Is, yeah. Because these are all TV people. Is there any movie person on this list? This is TV's highest paid actress. Okay, that oh, makes sense. Ah, your arm. Awful. I couldn't see this. And to, uh, to answer your question, by the way, about this being reminiscent of old Eddie Murphy roles, I will say it's a PG-13 movie. Okay. That stars Ben Stiller <laughs> <laughs> and Matthew Broderick. I didn't it's say he was. It has really funny. It has zero resemblance to the roles Eddie Murphy. Listen, I didn't say he was there. I said it looks like he's trying to get back there. Baby steps, Pat. Unless baby Matthew, steps. Unless Matthew Broderick got the role because Judge Reinhold wasn't available. <laughs> 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 you leave Matt Broderick alone. That's my boy. On and the other hand, Robert Downey Sr. is in the movie. What? What? I didn't even know there was a Robert Downey Sr. Well, there's a junior. I mean, obviously there was a name, but I didn't know he was like a person. Here, let, let me I am And you. Judd Hirsch. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, We're going to take a short break. When we come back is when we'll talk about porn on a plane. Daddy so, Daycare was awesome, too. But. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I had to throw it out there just to piss Pat off. Come on now. I haven't completely read the article about porn on a plane, but it sounds like <laughs> a good idea. <laughs> Oh, or maybe cuddling, too, because that's kind of interesting. You're listening to Project X. Call the show toll-free. 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. Looking for reliable and affordable shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits. A 99.5% uptime guarantee and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only $3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. Rise above the clutter, brand your identity, and make a statement. Broken Fan Media, expert video production, television and web commercials, music video, real estate tours, live concerts and events, state-of-the-art post-production, video and audio editing. Check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com, 434-944-0472. Broken Fan Media, the next generation of sight and sound. Hey, unsigned fans. You are jam-packed. Hey, unsigned fans. Want your music heard? Yeah! Shoot us an email with the name of the band and the MP3 of the song. Send it to show at morningshowcentral.com. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. Cocaine Energy Supplement. Due to great consumer demand, Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world-famous cocaine energy supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country, as well as online at RedoxDirect.com. That's RedoxDirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all-new Cocaine Energy Supplement social network, where you 
you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to lovecocaine.com. Here's some awesome retarded comedy all up in your face. But I've been, uh, I've been dating or sexually acting out. I, um... <laughs> It's not clear to me. It depends which paradigm you subscribe to, you know, be it psychotherapy or romance. But maybe I don't understand anymore. I was, you know, I've been married a couple times. And I, you know, I don't know, is dating still about having sex as soon as possible, as often as possible, or no? Is it? I, I, see, no one's going to answer that question, because why? I think it is on some level. But I do find that if you do that, it, it makes it hard. Everything moves too fast. So like if I meet somebody and we have sex as quickly as possible, as often as possible, what happens is you do that for a couple of weeks and you hit that wall where you're like, I don't even know you. <laughs> and she's like, I don't know you either. And then you trauma bond for like an hour. You know, like, <laughs> well, my dad's manic depressive and uh, my mom has an eating disorder. And then she's like, oh my God, I have an eating disorder. I'm like, of course you do. Um, <laughs> Then you have sex for a couple more weeks till you have to overcome the first minor obstacle together. Like, how can you not like tortilla chips? That's so weird. <laughs> Were you abused by a Mexican? Because that should have come out during the trauma bonding, if, he, if that's the case. I, I noticed a, little, a few of you got a little weird when I mentioned Mexican out of, you know, in that context that I mentioned it in. Like, you didn't know what to do with that. I'm not a racist. I'm nervous. <laughs> but I'm not a racist. It's really case by case. It's not ethnicity specific or... It's just the way I react to things that are different. I think that's normal. Everyone's nervous when they're confronted with things that they don't understand or are different. That's a normal human reaction. It doesn't become racist till you say things like, oh, there's a lot of them. <laughs> And I think everybody's a little racist, especially people who say this. I'm not racist. They're always a little racist. Here's how you can find out if you're a little racist. This is how I found out, all right? Next time you lose something that you think has been stolen, when you go to retrace your steps, see how you cast that short mystery film in your head. How many ethnic types do you use in the leading roles of that movie? How many blacks and Latinos do you get through before you finally hear yourself say, oh, crap, here it is under the car seat. <laughs> Tell you, I'm an idiot, and I'm a little racist. <laughs> but I'm not going to tell my one black friend <laughs> who I thought stole this. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web, LifestyleLimousineService.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle Limousine Service. And make sure you tell them. Morning Show Central Radio. Radio Network sent you. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. Heat 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% .9 uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30 day guarantee. No questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. 
Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Even if you don't think we're funny, we still do. Project X. So I said it earlier that this is Rooster's last show, kind of, ish, for six weeks. Uh, He's moving down to Kentucky next week for work for six weeks. Yep. However, we're going to try to, uh, uh, with him being down there for that long, if he gets the time and the opportunity, uh, try to dust off only in Kentucky every now and then. Good, I missed that segment. Now, he, now, here's the best part. I just found out that this is apparently uh, near College Town. So there is plenty of stupid to find. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a walk in the park. However, that being said, uh, this is probably going to be your last idiot nominee, unless we nominate one of your Kentucky people throughout the six weeks. Now, I may be down there for work, and I may be working minimum 14 hours a day, six days a week, but I still plan on trying to chime in with the show. If you can't find them, I'm sure they'll find you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what's your idea, nominee? Uh, mine comes out of Florida. Um, this actually just happened yesterday. A man tried to rob a Burger King with a sock. <laughs> Uh, specifically by stuffing his hand into the sock and trying to tell people it was a gun. Uh, employees at the Stock Island fast food joint told police late night that a guy came in around 8.30 p.m. wearing shorts, no shirt, unless that was the piece of cloth wrapped around his head, a brown sock on his left hand, and a plastic bag in the other. Instead of going up to the register and doing a sock puppet show for the employees, he tried to explain his sock-covered hand was a gun and gave the store manager the bag, demanding he get, throw all the cash in there. The manager said sure and told the sock man that he would go get the key. Instead, the sock man ran away, stumbling and knocking over a display in the restaurant on his way out the door. <laughs> the, sheriff says office, uh, the sheriff's office says uh, they checked in the area for the BK, uh, of the, uh, the BK for the sock man, uh, but no available. <laughs> Uh, people were found. They'll continue to investigate the incident. Unbelievable. I know. The only thing, no money was stolen. Nobody was hurt except for that display case. But let's just spend lots of tax dollars on finding that guy. I just don't understand. Like, obviously, we've heard stupid criminals do stuff like this before with fake guns. Or I think we had the candy bar robber one time. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the manager said he was going to go get the key. Mm-hmm. And the guy took off. <laughs> like, unless he knew that the manager found him out. Why does he take off? Sure, Honest. yeah, I'll get that money for you. Never mind, I'm out of here. Uh, kind of a stupid story. When I went looking for a car, we went to a car lot, and this uh, lady took a car for a test drive, and uh, she called the guy up on the phone and said, don't call the cops. I'll bring the car back in a few days. Nice. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Did she offer to bring the car back? <laughs> no, she never brought the car back either. Oh. What a liar. I heard of a guy that uh, went out. I can't believe whore. that. I can't believe she lied about that. Uh, a guy went and test drove a pickup truck, but he just needed to haul materials from one place to another. So he used the pickup to haul <laughs> whatever he had awesome. to haul and then took it back. Um, porn on a plane in Ireland. That's the part that's go. confusing. <laughs> the, the only thing this is seriously missing is, uh, is Mr. Jackson. I mean... There is a, uh, there's, there's an airline. Now, this article that I printed out, they describe the airline as uh, a bargain basement airline. <laughs> well, I feel like we've talked about this airline before, this Ryanair. So they have one have. plane that has a propeller and a half? Sure. Gotcha. Um, Ryanair is the name of the airline. Um, uh, the CEO is a guy named Michael, Michael O'Leary. In case I didn't already tell you that it was from Ireland. Um, Now, this airline already has instituted 
uh, they're they're already famous for offering standing room only tickets, <laughs> <laughs> which is never safe, <laughs> even on like a really nice brand new Boeing airplane, let alone whatever puddle hopper they have. It's not usually a good idea to have it on like a a public transportation at the time with the way they drive. Right. I mean, they 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 tell you. In planes, when you're taking off and landing, or if you hit turbulence, to put up your trays and buckle your seat belts. But this airline says, screw that. Just we'll hold, offer standing room only. Just That's hold cool. on to something. <laughs> um, now, what they want to do is offer downloadable porn movies and also TV shows. Um, uh, apparently O'Leary said hotels around the world have it so why wouldn't we uh, they're going they can purchase all sorts of entertainment and download it to their phone iPad or off brand tablet and watch it right there from the airplane um, <laughs> sounds awesome <laughs> and, and that's why we don't support it and this, like, like <laughs> I do not want to be on a flight next to Chris when he's downloading porn. Yeah, me neither. Well, exactly. Uh, and, and the article, uh, I took the article from uh, Gawker.com. <laughs> it wouldn't be messy. <laughs> <laughs> be very nice and tidy and clean. Um, so the guy goes on to editorialize in the article, and he, he talks about the obvious problem, which is the problem, the only problem I have with it, is I've sat next to... <laughs> only one? Is I do, really. I've sat next to enough people on planes that I didn't want to be by in the first place, in that close quarters. Clothed. Clothed. Um, but if you're going to have a dude, presumably, hopefully, under his blanket, while watching porn... Beaten off. I don't want to be a part of that. I would beat off. They need to have the curtains like around the chair so you can just kind of, you know. You, you, did you miss the part where this is like a, a bargain basement? Bargain basement. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. No, this, no, no. This, you're I mean, lucky they have chairs. <laughs> they sell standing, standing room, room seats. Only, yeah. this, this may explain part of it, though. Uh, Skytrax. Okay. Okay. Is a website where you can rate your experience with airlines. Mm. They average 2.9 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> so how do we make our customers happier? Mm, not Porn. have better planes. Yeah. Listen, we're only going to have 10 of them on the plane as it is. <laughs> Don't want to serve peanuts. Give them room and let them download porn. Because this guy hits the nail on the head. Let's 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 get it right, okay? You're only poor choice of words by the way. Well, thank you. Um <laughs> you're only downloading or watching porn for one reason. He goes on to say uh, that watching porn without masturbating is strange and unnatural. It's like eating cereal without milk or drinking decaf coffee. And it's true. Why? Uh, okay, two reasons. I don't want to. I sitting... take issue with that because I've always eaten my cereal dry. dry. I, and I was just gonna say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, some cereal is better dry, perhaps. But I agree with him on the whole porn without jerking off is weird. But it is. Because A, I don't want to be next to somebody who's jerking off while watching porn. Mm. B, I don't want to be next to somebody who just downloads porn just to watch it. Just <laughs> what kind of person is that? I, on the other hand, would have no problem jerking off not thinking about the other guy's feelings next to me. Uh. I'd be down with that. I think it'd be cool to jerk. Because I'm going to tell you, man, especially on long flights, especially now... Your options are limited on what you can do. I can only do... If you get the right person, you can actually do sidesies. So. Now, <laughs> I will say this is going to hamper it. If there's a, if there, if it's a three-row plane, you can somebody can go skiing. <laughs> I will say this is going to hamper it. You or can't, bowling. You can't bring any little bottles of fluid, so you got to do it dry. You can if it's under two ounces. Oh, well, then I guess that works. We're also talking, you know, they only fly, they fly only in Europe, so I don't know if... What Europe's? Air, oh God! Air and it's Europe, so the pubes. Oh, and, oh! And <laughs> because <laughs> they talk about like he did this airline better hand out like warm towels, like Morse <sighs> towels, so people can clean up after they're done. Because then what do you do? How what do you you pull the tissues out of your pocket and then you put them where they sit on your tray until you until you yeah, land? I mean, these put them back in your pocket. They don't fly <laughs> any further south than Malta. How could you be a <laughs> you know? flight attendant on that airline when that's going on? Make a you lot step of money. Carefully. I would. <laughs> oh, I would feel so weird. It's seriously like being like the guy who cleans up in the beat off booths in the porn stores. <laughs> you being a flight attendant on that airline that would be the antithesis of what they're going for like by I, offering porn. I think. I think you show up and it just fails miserably. If if they can tweak. 
the idea. There'd be a whole lot of porn watching without <laughs> masturbating. <That's what> <laughs> God damn it, here she comes. <laughs> Would you like a no? Just go away. <laughs> go five away. minutes. What? You couldn't give me five minutes. <laughs> I don't want another damn drink. <laughs> Leave me alone. Ex- excuse me, sir. Would you like some more peanuts? Oh, I was so hard 10 seconds ago. <laughs> what I love about this whole thing is that they actually, they they offer you a towel to put over your head. Who else What died? about, and, and we're talking about the one on your shoulders, okay? Now, what about, <laughs> what about the rest of your body? What about a towel to put on my head when well, I'm sitting next to you left, left, just the, trying to fly somewhere? It's, that's a fantastic idea. <laughs> You could probably get a job as a steward if you did that. <laughs> now, it, it straight leaves the rest of the body exposed to public view. So, like, yes. okay, yeah, so I know I know perception is nine-tenths of the law, but come on, buddy, your head's under a towel while you're touching your wiener. I mean, let's be real here. <laughs> you're putting on a free show, and you should be charging money. Let, let's. I'm throwing that towel over a girl's head when she comes to give me my peanuts. <laughs> or fine. Let's also, let's also look at this, though. If you pull up their, their map for all the places they fly... You really have to th- sit back and think, what's worse, seeing a European penis or a European face? Because <laughs> Malta, Gdansk, you know, I mean, we're t- you, where toothbrush loses a few letters nah. and becomes, you know, like a dirty word. So I think if they can tweak Scotland. it, if they can find a way to tweak it, something wrong with Scotland. Um, it, I, I kind of like it because, like I said, on those long flights, there's only so many pages in those crossword books that I can do. <laughs> you can't and, have... And Diane, we- Diane Weiss is a really <laughs> long answer. <laughs> there's Thanks only up. so many things I can order out of Sky Mail. You, 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 Sky Mall, not Sky Mail. Um, <laughs> it's been a long you're time. Gonna, you're going to be a plane. horrible flight. <laughs> there's, only, there's only so many drinks you can buy after you spend all night at the bar. Right. Uh, uh, you, can, you, can, you can't have your electronic devices on. And you can't anymore. You can't listen to music or do anything fun. You can only read so much. I wouldn't mind having porn on a flight. A four I, or five I, hour flight, I'd be okay with that. I would if I was alone in my own little cubicle. You know Not to mention if you don't like flying, you have a problem with flying. And if, if you're like me and you like to either eat a sandwich or pass out <laughs> after you're done. Mm-hmm. But here's the problem, dude. See, <laughs> one of their... Flying, up, flying on a plane, is that what we're talking about? That is a stress yeah. reliever. Or both. One of their routes is from Dublin to Cork. Okay? <laughs> That's a two hour drive. <laughs> so the only reason to take that flight it's is to good. watch the damn <laughs> porn. Sure, for so half sure. an hour. Yeah, so you're gonna you're gonna spend a hundred bucks on an airplane ticket <laughs> for a half hour of porn that you could download for free at your house, and then try to <laughs> try to leave the plane before it even gets off the ground because you're done. <laughs> 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 Can I exchange this? Could you imagine getting held up on a flight like that because of weather or something? <laughs> See, that's the oh my other- god. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna circle the airport a couple times, uh, like, fellas. <laughs> next round's on us. I've already gone like 15 <laughs> times. I'm getting raw. Lay I'm dry. <laughs> I'm firing black. <laughs> uh, we do have uh, other breaking news. Another bit of breaking we news. We do. Yes. And this actually is legitimate breaking I would news. Lo- I would like to see the guy that decides to lean over, uh, by the way, lean over to his partner and say, hey, when you're done watching that, do you mind if I take a peek at it? Because <laughs> uh, mine's not working. Are you done with your towel, buddy? <laughs> um, uh, uh, issue two, mm-hmm. which is everybody's voting on all up in yeah. arms about. Uh, so far, apparently about 260, 267,000 votes have been counted. And issue two is failing with about 67% of voters saying no. Okay, well. So it looks like that one's going to go down the two. I, I, I called that one. Yeah, I was just I saying. Say, I, was, I was like, dude, look at the, the record of unions in this state. Do you honestly think they were going to not get this one to go their yeah. way? I, obviously. And I mean, like well, I said. Well, it had a lot of money behind it, too. Like I said, uh, I'm, I, I was really on the fence about this issue. Like I said, both sides have good points to make. I'm just going, whether it passes or whether it fails, I don't give a damn. I'm just going to be happy as soon as it does because I'm not going to get any more messages on my friggin' home answering machine oh God, mm-hmm. yes, from the age. people telling me what to do. Oh, my God. You still have a landline? Sure. I'm not going to lie, dude. I think one of the don't biggest issues it, that, there. that the, the yesers had on this was that they got one of the most unpopular governors in the entire country to endorse it <laughs> on television. Yeah, well... <laughs> Let's be honest. I had somebody call me, ask me, who, what did I vote, yes or no? I said, it's none of your business. And I hung up. 
Isn't it already done by that time? <laughs> like, what did you vote? Go back and change that hurry. Oh, polls go, yeah, I was going to say, poll, I know polls in our area closed at 730, and I got the last minute, you know, well, I hope you're going to vote. I might. Dude. Wait, well, I hope you're going to vote no. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to vote. Right oh, so now, I'm leaning towards yes. Those are my favorite people to mess with, especially when you get somebody from, like, the plane dealer that calls you. Asking it, would you like to? Would you like to um, get a subscription to Plain Dealer? I said, uh, actually, I don't know how to read. Or if you get, uh, my favorite was an ATT rep that I had on the phone for about twenty minutes trying to tell them I didn't have a phone. <laughs> uh, I, I got, love that. I got one last night. I, I actually had a slew of them come through on the answering machine last night. Um, one of them came through with some lady. Uh, she's a teacher at, at one of our schools in Independence, something O'Malley, and uh, she. <laughs> God, it was so funny. <laughs> I'm sitting I'm sitting right next to my phone last night and uh the phone that has the answering machine on it and 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 the phone rings and I don't answer the landline. I don't I don't care if I know the name or not. Like if I want to talk to you, you have my cell phone number. Um so the machine goes on and the the voice that comes through is friggin' Theodore from Elvin and the Chipmunks. And she's like, Hey, it's a Marshall O'Malley, I'm trying to tell you that it. I don't know what the hell they did to her recording, but it was sped up times like a million. And it was, <laughs> so I sat there, I'm laughing. She's like trying to tell me these serious issues, but it's the Chipmunks telling me really fast. <laughs> 10 minutes goes by, my phone rings again, let it go to the machine again. And then they must have realized that they messed up because it was the same <laughs> recording this time in normal speed. It's like, yes. I just am interested to see, because I always forget around this time of year, who actually advertises during news broadcasts mm -hmm. because the commercial <laughs> breaks are all political ads. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That annoys yeah. me too. So I'm just like, I, I literally, I had the news on yesterday because we have a, we're the same boat. We have a digital antenna. We don't have yeah. cable in our house. Right. So I get three, five, 19, sometimes eight. 8-2, 19-2, all the 25s. <laughs> so we I sit get three, and watch. five, eight, sometimes 43. So we'll sit and watch the news. You know, I'll watch the news and whoever's on. And it literally, it's political ad, political ad, political ad, political ad. Oh, yeah. Ad. Car dealership. I do we have to gear <laughs> up because you're going to have all these people again next year. You're going to have the door-to-door -door campaigners and everything else, and I've come up with my plan. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It's going to be, I'm not allowed to vote. See, I'm a convicted felon, <laughs> and apparently I have rage issues with people who try to tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Or just answer the door with a raging heart on. That's right. Mine, mine's gonna be my luck. I'd get, <laughs> I'd get the wrong damn person. <laughs> like, well, I see you're excited about what I'm saying. Let's sell one. You, so, get uh, the, you are voting in Lakewood. <laughs> <laughs> You'd get the one who doesn't bite noses. <laughs> when they come to my door, I simply, nah, I just got a tattoo within the past year. No, it's not the same as giving blood. It feels like it. <laughs> We're going to take a short break. When we come back, Johnny Five Top 13, and we may give a short insight into how insensitive women are. You listen to Project X. Call the show toll free 1 888 668 0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web. LifestyleLimousineService.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle limousine service. And make sure you tell them Morning Show Central Radio Network sent you. Here's some awesome retarded comedy all up in your face. There are descendants of Jesus. I'm sure they're not going to have all the power that Jesus Christ had, but I think they'll be pretty special. Like, I don't think they could walk on water, but they'd probably be amazing water skiers. <laughs> I doubt they could rise from the dead, but they could probably drink all night and in the morning just, just pop out of bed like nothing. <laughs> I have two young kids at home. They're, um, I don't know the ages. They're small. They're very short. <laughs> and it's hard. I'm on the road, and I just picture my son going to bed at night and being like, Mommy, where's Daddy? Well, he's at the Green Bay Chuckle Hut following his destiny. 
Doesn't he know it's not working out? Go to sleep, sweetheart. Go to sleep. But don't dream. We got enough dreamers in this family. My son, Owen, is amazing. He's just in the moment. I mean, that's why we love children. They're just presents. The other day, we were walking past a wishing well, and I gave him a penny. I said, Owen, you take this penny, you throw it in the water, you can wish for anything you want. So he takes the penny, throws it in the water. I said, what'd you wish for? He goes, just throw the penny in the water. <laughs> How do you get more in the moment than to wish for what you're doing at that moment? <laughs> he's, he's like a Zen master. I just follow him around saying, teach me more cool stuff, man. <laughs> So your kids are so precious, it's very hard to trust them with anybody. We had a babysitter in our neighborhood, Michelle, 19 years old. And I found out whenever we'd go out, her boyfriend was sneaking in the house. And I freaked. I don't know this guy. He's alone in the house with my kids. So it sounds creepy, but I put one of those nanny cams in. And sure enough, I check in the next day. Guy shows up. They're drinking beer. They're fooling around on the couch, like the couch my kids play on. They're having sex. Well, whatever. I don't know if they're having sex. It's kind of... It's dark and grainy. <laughs> so I put in a couple of those nighttime infrared cameras, and they're definitely having sex. And that, that's pretty disturbing, because who knows what kind of nasty stuff she's screaming out. So I put in a couple of those digital audio taping devices. And, uh, what a mouth on this little whore. Unbelievable. She's 19. It's a delicate age. I don't want to traumatize her, so I don't want to fire her. So I'm just logging the tapes, just keeping an eye on things. And you can check it out on my, my babysitter, gotta have it.com. Cocaine Energy Supplement. Due to great consumer demand, Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world famous Cocaine Energy Supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country, as well as online at RedoxDirect.com. That's RedoxDirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all new Cocaine Energy Supplement social network, where you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to LoveCocaine.com. 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% .9 uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30 day guarantee. No questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence. With honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Check out Uncensored Net Noise. Every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise. On MorningShowCentral.com. Brand your identity and make a statement. Broken Fan Media. Expert video production, television and web commercials, music video, real estate tours, live concerts and events, state-of-the-art post-production, video and audio editing. Check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com. 434-944-0472. Broken Fan Media. The next generation of sight and sound. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should, too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. Looking 
for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting, JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits, a 99.5% uptime guarantee, and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only $3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. You know the fresh out of the shower feeling? Yeah, us neither. Project X. I just watched Flatliners the other day. <laughs> it's a fantastic movie. Was that on? Uh, was that on like fifty-five point two or something? Eight. No, nope. eight, eight two. Fifty-five two is nothing but uh, inspirational. Inspirational. Yeah. This was, oh, that's right. You're right. Yeah. This was eight two. Was and, it eight two? It was. Yeah. It was I saw. Antenna. I flipped by. The only reason I knew this because I, I saw. Yeah. It dude, I was sitting. There, my kid loved it. Actually, so. fifty-five two isn't even. Like only two hours or maybe three hours of it is inspirational programming. The rest of it's just the, the schedule. Rest, the <laughs> rest is just the schedule. <laughs> Telling you when the 700 club's on. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's the 90 and 9 club, isn't it? Yeah. What's the, there's a 700 one, though, too. Maybe it's both. Isn't the 700 club on 43 in the morning I, I on, like, Saturday or Sunday? I think so. Maybe even during the week. I don't know. I'm watching Regis then. <laughs> and that makes me sad. Well, like, honestly. I just want him to die. <gasps> no. Yes. Never. He's, he's calling, calling it. Pole. He's saying two weeks. He's saying two weeks after his last show, he's gonna go. Just so like Andy by early December, I should be no. very heavy. Yeah. No, I don't want Regis to die. Why? Because I love him. But he's not gonna what? do anything else. He is. What? He told. He says he's not. He told re- you. Is that where you no, just gonna say he told he me? He says on the show he's not retiring. He's moving on. Yeah, of course he says that. He's not gonna do anything else. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. moving. He's moving on to a better place, somewhere <laughs> like a nice warm hole in the ground. Right. Or you know, who no. wants to be a thousand air because of the whole recession thing? <laughs> a thousand air. Hell, I'll take a hundred air. Uh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Silent night. Holy Night is a company that makes beds. All is calm. <laughs> Vincent Price All never recorded. All is bright. <laughs> uh, Silent Night makes beds, and they they. Round yon <laughs> I couldn't keep it straight. Could you? Do it? I, I I'm ready for. I want you to do it. You have to do it. I refuse to hear that song. They did a survey, uh, talking about cuddling with chicks and dudes. Mm. Which is a good place to start. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Unless you look at this picture. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he was waiting for so long to be able to Where bust out that, that piece of equipment. <laughs> Where did that come from? I think he told me about it like it's last magical, week. It's the magical, wondrous <laughs> thing that happens when I tell a story. <laughs> <laughs> it's Rooster Voice. I want that. Or for the layman, it's Chris's new little toy that he was so excited and he didn't get to use last week. <laughs> hey, it worked. Um, <laughs> one out of every one out of every like twenty. <laughs> <laughs> and that according to the survey, one in three women do not like to cuddle and half try to avoid it when they get into bed because they're exhausted and want to go straight to sleep. One in four say that cuddling in bed makes them hot and uncomfortable. One in ten admit that they would prefer to lie under the covers and check their Facebook account <laughs> instead of cuddling. More than a third of the women confess... We don't know why she's single. Uh, <laughs> I, can, I can totally relate to this study. Uh, more than a third confess to being lapsed cuddlers after the honeymoon phase of a relationship has passed, and others complain that their husband's or boyfriend's bad breath puts them off. She only smelled beer. <laughs> well, that's the she was in. And the other one blinded her so much. <laughs> <laughs> Turn off the moon. light. It is. <laughs> that's the moon. <laughs> that's the street light outside. 
Uh, in contrast, men are far more far more likely to get annoyed if they don't get a cuddle from their wife or girlfriend. Uh, 36% of men said that a lack of cuddling has led to fights in the bedroom compared to just 26% of women. Men are also more likely to reach across to cuddle their wife or girlfriend throughout the night, whether they like it or not. Uh, despite their lack of enthusiasm, more than half of women said they did cuddle their partner in bed every night, but it was usually just a cursory hug before rolling over and going to sleep. <laughs> Men confessed they did it out of most. habit. Sorry, most women confessed they did it out of habit or to avoid upsetting, apparently, their vagina-clad partner. Yeah, um, I mean, I d I'm not really into cuddling. <laughs> Dude, I can honestly say this. Brittany and I will hug each other before we go to bed every night, and then we sleep facing opposite directions. Like, I don't want to be anywhere near you. Uh, well, like, I don't like sleeping face um, to face because I don't like the hot breath, like, in my face. Well, yeah, because it was always infused with alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so you were wondering why you were waking up drunk every morning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I always end up facing the opposite way of the other person, and I'm usually I've got one arm under the pillow and the other, like, right next to my face, and I've anything, I'm cuddling the pillow, like, I love you, I'm, dude, hello. I, and I so would rather check my Facebook account on my phone. I, I cuddle my blanket. <laughs> I, cuddle I don't my use my blanket to cover me, but I kind of wrap it. Yeah, I can't, I can't sleep with somebody in front of me. I, it's um, just weird. Yeah. The, the wife and I, the wife was always big on it, of course, and, and she'd cuddle up and we'd cuddle up. Until she fell asleep. Then literally as soon as she fell asleep, she was like, Bruh. See, that's what we do. Like, we'll, we'll <laughs> fall asleep. Would, would push me away and roll. And I'm like. I, does she make that noise? <laughs> <laughs> she may have sometimes. <laughs> Most nights we fall asleep cuddling. You can't hear it over my snoring, though. And then we wake up back to back on opposite sides of the bed. However, I don't like cuddling because, see, we sleep nude. And my wife has a very uh, nice rear end. So my parts are up against that part. And I'm like, two minutes in, I'm like, no, dude, I don't want to cuddle. Like, let's do <laughs> this stuff. Let's end cuddling now. And she's like, no, I want to sleep. And I'm like, all right, wait till you fall asleep then. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your machine now, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> I just want, I just want to sleep. Well, you should put some clothes on then. <laughs> because right, because no joke, dude. And, and even like when she's on her rag and, and she's wearing underwears to bed, it still feels so good. So then, like you know, if I don't end up doing it, doing her while she's sleeping, so then I gotta roll. <laughs> oh, God. Then I gotta roll on my bed. Dive stack. <laughs> Come to sleep. I, uh, <laughs> I, I got to roll on my back, and then I put my knees up so the sheets are tented, so I can beat off. <laughs> because if I'm moving, if I'm moving the sheets, I think she'll feel and wake up, and I don't want to be like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, well, you made me do this, so now I'm like, I'm trying to beat off like really slow, kind of, <laughs> and like not jerk around, and then she'll like she'll like stir, and I'm like, oh, "I'll stop." <laughs> <laughs> and Why I like look and listen. Get up and go in the bathroom and do it. Because I'm That's comfy I'm in bed. Too, like. I'm comfy in bed. And I have a box Isn't of tissues like, right next to the bed on the bed stand. But that doesn't sound comfortable. Having to stop in the middle because you think she's it, up. But, but it, it makes it exciting. <laughs> it makes it exciting because you know it you're not you supposed to. It takes you back to the teenage years. Sure. Getting caught by your parents. It was way better when mom was in the next room. What? All right, cool. Especially if you're. Especially if you're about to go, because then you got to hold it. And then when you go, it makes it even better. Dude, trust me. Try it if you ever get a guy. It's cool. <laughs> if you ever again in your life experience an orgasm. <laughs> Wait, did I say again? Because there was a time. There was a time uh, early on in our relationship. I think it was before we were married that I, and I hence I later have told her about this, that I got angry because I thought we were going to do stuff. And she rolled over <laughs> and went to sleep. And I finished on her back. On, oh, on her shirt, God. on her shirt while we were sleeping, which was oh. cool, until about 25 minutes later when I forgot about it and rolled over. <laughs> <laughs> Karma. <laughs> we I actually, I remember hearing that story because of something I wrote. When I said if you, it, it was uh, ways to get the other person to leave you. Yeah. I said right before they go to bed, go on their pillow. <laughs> I just bust on their pillow, right? They'll leave. <laughs> then you told that story. I remember that. My brother was once fighting with the girl he was dating at the time, mm. uh, and she had to get up and go to work, but left him in her apartment. Right. Uh, he finished in her shampoo bottle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He needs a host. We, we, uh, <laughs> we did that to a kid. Uh, I don't care. I'll say his name. Uh, a kid that played basketball with us in high school named Jordan Suvac, who was a complete douche. 
and we got into his locker after practice one night before he got upstairs and somebody was able to go in his shampoo bottle. <laughs> Used it all season, never knew. I wish he listened so we could know now because it was awesome. Uh, we also peed on him a lot too, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hold, said, just stay right there. I have to pee. He caught that quite a few times. Um, let's recap our idiot nominees. Mine is uh, from Tarrant, Alabama. Montego Arrington, 34 years old, last week posted the following status update on his Facebook page. Has anyone else ever thought about strapping a bomb on and walk in a police department and blowing <laughs> the expletive up? <laughs> And no, a, never. An anonymous source alerted deputies with the Jer Jefferson County Sheriff's Office Street Crimes Unit who learned that he was on probation for manufacturing methamphetamine. They alerted his probation officer who went to his house on a home visit. During that visit, the officer discovered pornographic images of children stored on his computer. He was arrested on charges of possession of child pornography and probation violation. He is in the county jail with bond set at $20,000. The uh, Jefferson County Chief Deputy, Randy Christian, had this to say, Note to self, do not post something stupid on the internet for all the world to see, most especially a blatant threat to law enforcement. Mine is 80-year-old Jack Shea, who is a Ketchikan County or City Councilman and also the city's former mayor who, uh, while he was having trouble printing on his computer, he had a bunch of things on his computer queued up, none of them were printing, so he took his computer into uh, a computer repair shop, they plugged it in, started it up, and it started printing right away. The only problem is it started printing pornographic images of children. Uh, he was arrested and charged with 10 counts of possessing child pornography. Uh, he was later released on $30,000 bail, he was arrested less than 30 minutes after he finished performing a small role in a fall musical at the city high school in the auditorium. After being released on bail, he then performed his role Saturday night. I do need to know one thing. Was hmm. it Babes in Toyland? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Or even uh, Nutcracker. He <laughs> pan. Girl. <laughs> okay, mine is a guy who uh, his girlfriend broke up with him, and he went on this rampage and decided to kill himself, and he was swallowing pills. Only the pills he was swallowing were really Flintstone vitamins. Rooster. Uh, mine comes out of Florida. A man tried to rob a Burger King with a sock. Uh, was probably wearing his shirt on his head, and uh, robbed at about 8.30. Uh, ended up holding up a bag to the manager with a sock-covered hand, saying it was a gun. Told the manager to put all the money in the bag. Manager said, sure, and told me to go get the key. The man decided, screw that, ran away, hitting a display, and the police are still apparently looking for this guy. What's your top 13? Just random thoughts. Random thoughts, top 13. Johnny Five, go. The sportos, the motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, waste toys, dweebies, dickheads. They all adore him. They think he's a righteous dude. Number five is alive. I still just like this intro, dude. We haven't used it forever, so. I enjoy it. No, we haven't, because this was the regular one when I started, uh -huh. and then we used the old one one week, and you decided you hadn't heard that one in forever and liked <laughs> it. We used the old one one week, uh, and if I'm not mistaken, the next week we went back to this one, and you're now wife. Said she said preferred, the, she other preferred the other one, so to keep a listener happy. <laughs> she was she's very opinionated on the goings on on our show. Yes, yeah, she was. Until, was. And, and, until the first two black interns left, and then well, she didn't I think she anymore. was entitled to because she was there every week <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> and got her family to listen. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. All right. Uh, so random thoughts. Uh, isn't that what the show all really? Do I have to do the list? Hasn't yes. this whole show just been random? Do the damn list. Kind of. All right. Uh, number 13, the world could use a good ass wiping. Okay. Uh, number 12, Kurt Cameron is a whiny little punk bitch. I don't know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> how did he randomly come into your head I, recently? I, Were you watching Entertainment Tonight the other day? Yeah, because no. they just had no, that reunion. No, no. <laughs> no. That just kind of popped up there. Oh, um, she's on. Yeah. Uh, number 11, I'm voting for Betty White and Michael Ian Black for president and VP next year. Right ins. Yep. Number 10, laughter might be the best medicine, but cancer is still the best. Really? <laughs> cancer is still the best disease. 
Yep. <laughs> oh. uh, number nine, your unhappiness makes me smile. Number eight, I still want to fight a midget. Number seven, Randy Newman never bothered me until my son discovered Pixar movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number six, sometimes when it seems life can't get any worse, you get an STD. <laughs> nice. Number five, oatmeal is barely food. Uh, number four, smart people who flaunt their intelligence are stupid. <laughs> number three, when today was tomorrow, yesterday, I really didn't care. Number two, schizophren schizophrenics are never lonely. And number one, monorail should be defined as introverted trains. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. This is what happens when I'm watching the seventh viewing of Toy Story <laughs> in a day. Um, Every day. With a towel over your head. <laughs> <laughs> Rooster vote. Uh, I'm gonna give it to. Uh, I'm gonna give it to Pat. Chris. Pat. Johnny Five. It's his last show for six weeks. I'll go with Rooster. Girl. I'm going with Rooster. Pat. I would go with Rooster, but it, it breaks the fundamental rule of the person still at large. So This is true. Uh, yeah, I'm still I'm still large. I'm going with And uh, I'll probably get larger going to Kentucky. I'm going with yours. I'm going with Otters. Uh I can't get past the trying to OD on Flintstones vitamins. I'm going with girl. Drum roll. Winner. It's a tie. Between Pat and Rooster. They both win. Yay! I'm going to go eat some vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now only Rooster wins. Yay. Because she didn't win out, right? <laughs> uh, if you missed any part of the show, you can catch it immediately. Well, there's no Band-Aid with Doc Rock tonight. So, you can so catch immediately! It immediately, soon, kind of-ish, on morningshowcentral.com on the 24-hour live feed, or tomorrow morning-ish on projectxshow.com in the archive section where it's available for live playback or download. You can find our crap on iTunes, probably on YouTube. What else? Follow us, uh, uh, like us on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash pxshow. Follow us on Twitter at Project X Show. Next week, we're going old school. With just Pat, Johnny Five, and myself. Wow. So it's been a while. Be Did sure it? to listen. I don't remember agreeing <laughs> to take girl with me. <laughs> well, she's coming. I don't. I doubt that. For the first. <laughs> Damn, I Johnny won. Five made. I got it. He was like, "Son of a bitch, I'm getting it out first. <laughs> Next week, old school. We'll see you, peace, bitches. Hey.